Hey guys, welcome by this new tutorial. I've been gone away for uh, a while. I didn't upload a video for a while, and I'm sorry about that. I should have uploaded this video a long time ago, but uh, I didn't really have the time to create this video, so I'm going to do it right now. And what I'm going to teach you in this tutorial is how to render out properly. You already saw my basic tutorial. Or if you didn't, you can definitely check that out. But what what I did there to render out was hit Control B or sorry Alt B to make a preview, and it's basically just a preview of your movie. It's not really rendering it out. What I also said is go to options, and I said full frames uncompressed, and this is Dutch, so I'm sorry for that, but I uh, can't get it any different. That's not what I want to render out in because it's way too big. But anyways, I will come back on that later. So I'm gonna show you a method that is really rendering out and for real. So yeah, that's basically this tutorial. So all things that you have to do is basically hit Control B to go to your render settings. Now here you have to tweak and adjust a couple of things and then you're ready to render it out. As you might have seen, I already created a, a simple animation, so that's what we're going to render out real quick. Okay, so go back to your render settings. You can also press this little button to go to the render settings. And I have set here a uh, width and a height, it, it's just standard, so that's good. And a thing that's important if you want to render out an animation, uh, the frame range is set to cur current frame, but you need to set it to all frames if you want to render out all frames. So it's from, uh, from frame 0 to frame 90, so that's pretty good. Now here is where the magic is going to happen. I already set out a directory path for the final render. And basically we just have to change the format. So we're going to change the format and you have a lot of formats here. But we're going to do AVI movie and I always oversaw that I don't know why. But it's here and it's working. If you want the alpha channel, that's basically, it creates for every frame an alpha image that you might need or want for a project. I'm not going to do that right now, but it's just basically creating for every frame an alpha channel picture. Now here we come at the options again. And the thing that I'm going to recommend to you is not full frames on compressed, but use XFID MPEG4 codec. If you have the DivX codec pack, you should have this. If you don't want to download the DivX codec pack for any reason, I recommend to download the K dash um, what was it again K Lite codec pack. I thought I will put a link in the description and you can download it and. Yeah, that's basically it. So, anyway, set it to XVID MPEG4 codec. Hit OK. And, well, that's about covering it. So, anyways, you have just have to click uh, Render and Picture Viewer, and that will be OK. So, here it goes. It renders it out. And it's almost done. There we go. It's done. So, yeah, here is our AVI file. And if we're going to view it, show in File Explorer. And here we have it. It's an AVI file, which is totally working on the KLite Kodak pack. So it's a DivX render out file, which is pretty good. Anyways, that was it for this tutorial, and 
I'm sorry I was so late for or with this tutorial, but uh, I didn't just have the time to create this video. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please put thumbs up and please subscribe if you like uh, my tutorials. So yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next tutorial. Please send me requests or something because I'm kind of out tutorials now. So yeah, just send me a personal message or something with a request. I uh, will look if I can make some time to create those. Okay guys, thanks for watching and uh, please leave comments.